Hello, my name is Rafael Sheif, and in this learning object, I'm going to uh, explain some typical structures in technical English to express the cause and effect relationship. These are the contents of the uh, unit. We are going to talk about different expressions and structures to express the cause and effect. We will deal with some connectors typical for expressing the cause and the result or effect and other expressions that can also uh, be used for this uh, purpose. And I will finish with a summary of the typical expressions. The objectives of the learning object is to know the most important structures, uh, grammatical constructions in English to express this very important relationship between the cause and the effect or result. And also to learn how to use correctly in proper English, how to use the cause and effect connectors. It is very important when we want to express a, a cause and effect relationship to know which is the cause and which is the effect. Here on this table we have the cause in red and the effect or the consequence in blue. Then depending on the location of the cause and the effect in the sentence, we can use one set of connectors or another. For example, if we place the cause at the beginning of the sentence, we can use these connectors, causes, leads to, results in, is the cause of or brings about. For example, dust on the curl surface results in corrosion. On the other hand, if we use, if we place the effect at the beginning of the sentence, we can use other connectors, is caused by, results from, is the effect or result of, or is due to. For example, corrosion is caused by dust on the curl surface. The meaning is exactly the same and we can use all these connectors. The important thing is to know the relationship between the cause and the effect and to place it correctly in the sentence. We can also use connecting verbs in the ING form and typically we use for this purpose the verbs cause and make. If we use the verb cause then after the in the effect we have to in, in the verb place in the effect part of the sentence we must put the particle to. Here we have the example. The electron beam hits the screen causing the phosphor to glow. We have to put to. But if we use the verb make we don't need to add any particle as in the example with exactly the same meaning. The electron beam hits the screen, making the phosphor glow. We can use also any many verbs in the ING form to imply a cause and effect relationship. And very often in technical English we use the particle thus, introducing the ING form of the verb. Here we have a typical example. A voltage, a voltage is applied to the crystal, this is the cause thus producing or simply producing vibration at a higher at a high frequency then this is a, a very important and very widely used um, construction in technical english to express the cause which comes first and then the consequence or the effect here in blue we can also use some sentence connectors. The most important set of sentence connectors that are used to express the cause in the form of a clause is because, since or as, with the same meaning. For example, given these two facts or sentences, a hydrogen balloon will rise on the one hand and hydrogen is lighter than air. On the other hand, we can show the relationship of cause and effect by using these connectors. Normally they come in the middle connecting the two parts of the sentence. For example here we have a hydrogen balloon will rise because since or as hydrogen is lighter than air. We have the effect and then the cause because since and as introduce the cause. But these connectors can also come at the beginning of the sentence like in the example here, because since or as hydrogen is lighter than air, here, here we have the cause, 
a hydrogen balloon will rise. This is the effect. It is very important to know the exact location of the cause and effect and the connectors in technical English. Other alternative words or possibilities um, to express the cause, but in this uh, in the form of a full sentence or clause also, like in the case of because, since or as, are listed here. The most typical ones are as long as, as long as the material is hardened, we can use steel. Due to the fact that, or it also introduces a clause, we will be standing, staying sorry, for another week due to the fact that we have not finished yet. Owing to the fact that, it's another possibility, owing to the fact that the device had to withstand high temperatures, we decided to use a specific polymer. In as much as, which is very formal, is another possibility. Inasmuch as the engineers have successfully fixed the problem, they left the construction site. Or we can also use some other alternatives such as seeing that another connector. Seeing that energy consumption is one of our biggest problems, we should consider the use of solar power. Some linking words introduce or express the cause but uh, the, the cause is expressed by means of a noun or noun phrase. Non, not in the form of a clause, like in the case of the cause, since, or as. This is the case of these connectors. Because of, O and to, D to, as a result of. In this case, these connectors are followed by a noun or noun phrase, not by a full sentence or clause. Examples of this uh, are here. As a result of bad weather conditions, the main engine failed. The cost of the project increased dramatically due to the use of expensive materials. And social networks have become important because of globalization. It is important to note the difference between because and because of, which is sometimes a confusing for students. In example one, we have the cause of introducing the cause in the form of a noun phrase. The aircraft collapsed because of structural faults. Second example is exactly the same meaning, but it introduces a sentence. The aircraft collapsed because there were structural faults. We are going to move on now to some connectors to express result. Here we have a, a list of the most important ones. We have so plus adjective or adverb plus that and a clause. The car was so efficient or worked so efficiently that the company became a market leader. The result is marked in um, red. Such plus noun plus that and a clause is another possibility. As in the example, it was such a strange material that nobody considered it for manufacturing. So plus clause, it was late so the technicians decided to stop maintenance work. Consequently, or as a result, the engineers did not, did not understand it. Consequently, they looked for help abroad. And, and as, as a result of, and as a result, sorry, can also be used in the middle of the sentence. The tests were not be well designed and as a result they had to be repeated. And last we have a typical connector, therefore, that can be used at the beginning, in the middle or at the end of the sentence. I think, therefore, that the system will be more efficient than before. Here we, we can also use the verb to cause to express a cause and effect relationship uh, with or without a verb. Here we have two typical examples. Pulling back the piston causes a fall in air pressure or pulling back the piston causes the air pressure to fall. Or the word uh, when can also be used to link a cause and effect. For example, when the pilot operates the ailerons, the aircraft turns. Here we have a typical uh, a summary of 
the most important connectors we have seen here. As a conclusion, it is important to know the cause and effect relationship and to understand well which is the cause and the effect. Also, it is important to know the right expression and not to translate exactly from your first language. Thank you very much and I hope it was useful for you.